started writing to go to Paris. I didn't start writing to do canvases. I started writing the bomb to destroy all lines. And that's what I'm doing. Now that you've heard that, you understand what I'm saying to you when I say that I don't understand him. He's out there to bomb, destroy all lines. What have the lines ever done to him? <laughs> what he was doing was dangerous and illegal. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Barbara, you told me when I first called you to ask if you would be willing to undergo an interview. Mm -hmm. And you said, what I had to say about graffiti, you don't want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Who I am now? Well, uh, I'm in the United States Army. I've been in the Army for uh, 17 years. It'll be 18 in September. Sergeant Major, uh, which is like the highest enlisted uh, grade in the Army. Graffiti was a mission. But it really prepared me for the Army because you had to start from a draft, you had to get your materials, and then you had to be dedicated. You couldn't say, well, I got a piece to do, and then, you know, two weeks go by and you never do it. Was there, was there any type of special way that you prepared before you went out to hit trains? Or no, the only or preparation I did was a, a nickel bag. <laughs> that was it. The nickel bag might have been one preparation. The other preparation was the misappropriation of every cap that I had on a can of spray. Whatever kind of spray it was, it was missing. Okay? You go and you take out something you want to spray the room, the cap is gone. You know, you take something, you get ready to clean the oven, the cap is gone, all right? Sugar Hill Gang with the Pow Pow Boogie and the Big